Hello, my darlings. My name is Shirley, and this is my channel, Shirley's Suggestions. So all the time, I was always having my friends tell me, Shirley, you give such good suggestions. All the time for anything, like when they don't know what to give for gifts, or they don't know what to bring for dinner, or if they get invited somewhere, what should they bring to the hostess? So many different things, places to visit, cars, what to drink. I have all sorts of suggestions and that's what I'm gonna help you with. So the first suggestion that I have is to not do the thing that you always do. I know you always do it because I used to always do it. And now I don't do it anymore. But when you're invited to dinner or to a party and you want to bring something to the hostess, and this is what I'm gonna show you not to do. Do not do this. What I'm gonna show you, you don't wanna do it anymore because it's what everybody does and it's a big mistake, okay? Abe, Abe. Abe! What? Listen, we gotta take the endestine something to the party. Now, do you remember if they like, it was just go grab a bottle of wine. Do you ah. remember if they like red or do they like white? Red what? Red wine, Abe, red wine. We have to go to the party and we're taking them a bottle of wine. Should it be red? I remember, I think he gets Acid reflux. He'll he drink what we take and like it. <sighs> you know, help. No, this causes acid reflux. What if they don't like wine? Uh, the oh, endestines? Yes. Uh, you know, I'll just take this one that the butlers gave us the other day at the party. We'll just take this. We'll just keep recycling. It's fine. All right. Okay, my darlings. Now you've seen what not to do. And I know you've all done that before. We all have, where you go to a party or to dinner and you're taking that bottle of wine that's been passed around through all of your friends that you probably got on special somewhere and it's dusty and it's old and nobody opens it. And besides, everybody does that. Don't you want to stand out? I love to stand out. So anyhow, I'm gonna teach you how to make a proper cocktail because everyone should know how to make a proper cocktail. Am I right? And everybody's impressed when you know how to. Everybody can use this skill. So I'm gonna show you something very easy. Everyone is so stressed that they can't make a proper cocktail, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is so you can impress all of your friends. Or if you're a young gentleman trying to date a woman, and you want to show her, make her a beautiful cocktail. She's gonna love this. You know why? Because this is that I'm showing you is the Cosmopolitan. If you remember a long time ago, which is not so long to me, but it was a while ago, there was this wonderful show called Sex in the City. And those ladies always drank their Cosmopolitans because they're delicious and beautiful. Now you're like, I can't do that, Cheryl. I can't, no, yes, you can. Yes, you can. You're gonna learn. You're gonna learn today and you're gonna listen. All right, it's very simple. Three, two, one. That's all you gotta remember. Now, if you are not making this at home for yourself or for your date, which you should, but if you're taking it to a party instead of that dusty old bottle of wine or to dinner and you're gonna pre-make the cocktail, you're gonna make it in your shaker, okay? And you're not gonna put ice in it so it's ready to go when you get there. Now. How you're gonna make it, you're gonna use the lid of the shaker to measure. How hard is that? Not hard at all. And you don't even like have to dirty another little measuring cup or a shot glass. You just use the lid of the shaker. All right. So now, three parts vodka. What do I love? I love kettle one. I always have a bottle of kettle one around. It's just what I love because it's delicious. It's wonderful vodka. Don't cheap out on the vodka. Don't get the cheap stuff, okay? You want it to be delicious. This makes it delicious. All right, three parts vodka. Very simple. 
So you fill up the top of the shaker. One, two, three. That's a wood. No, no. All right. Two parts cranberry juice. Again, don't cheap out. Don't get the cheap cranberry. Get the 100% juice. 100% juice, ocean spray cranberry. Now don't go getting the diet stuff. Nobody wants that diet stuff, it tastes like crap. And besides, if you're going somewhere and you're using diet stuff or you're on making your date a drink with diet cranberry, she's gonna be like, oh my God, I think he thinks I'm fat because he's giving me diet cranberry. No, no, don't use that. It's just a little bit, you can handle the calories. Two cranberry. One, two. All right, last. One quart triple sec. It's just an orange flavored liqueur. It's delicious. Very simple. One quart. And there we go. The drink has been made. Now at this point, you would just cover it up and take it with you if you're going to dinner or to a party somewhere, and then you'll have the cocktail ready to go because you don't want it watered down. You do want it cold. So when you get there, or at this point if you're home and you're ready to shake it, you're gonna get some ice, wash your hands first. I'm just using my hands because it's easier. You're gonna put it in. There we go. All right. I'm gonna put the lid of the shaker on. All right. And then you're gonna shake. There you go. Now you wanna shake it so it's almost cold enough that you can't touch it anymore because that makes the beautiful and cold. All right, then you're going to start serving, and everybody's going to be like, ooh, look at that cocktail. I can't believe that she knew how to make that, or he knew how to make that. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. Isn't that what you want to hear? Yes. And everybody in the heads are thinking, thank God they didn't bring that dusty old bottle of wine that nobody wants anymore. So, you're going to serve in a beautiful glass. Now, if you really want to get fancy, because I love being fancy, you take a little lime, and you slice it up when you get there, put a little wedge, whoop, a little bit of lime in there, stick it on the, oh my God. I outdo myself every single time. Was that easy? It was so easy, my darlings. Have some confidence. You can do it. See? Beautiful cocktail. Say it with me. Let's all remember together, three parts vodka, two part cranberry, one part triple sec. Seriously, you measure with the lid of your shaker. Mm. Oh my God, that's so delicious. Oh my God, I love it. It's beautiful, it's delicious, it's easy. Can you go wrong with that? No, no you can't. All right. Go get to shaking, my darlings. The recipe will be right after in case you've forgotten already because everybody has such short attention spans. So come back and see me for another suggestion because I'll have more for you, my darlings. Everybody needs suggestions once in a while. If you have a question for me and you need a suggestion for something in particular, feel free to say. Ask a comment, ask a question. Don't be mean, no reason to be mean, okay? I love you, my darlings. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.